Today we'll be looking at the act of hope and learning how to say it in Latin. Comparing it to the English again, we will find just like the act of faith, there are a lot of differences from the English version. It isn't that the English is wrong, it just doesn't contain what the Latin contains. Greetings listeners of the Latin Prayer Podcast, welcome back for another episode. Before we look at today's episode, I first want to extend my thanks to all of you who listen to the podcast, especially those who are praying the rosary daily. The links, of course, for the daily rosary are in the show notes. Remember, Pope St. Pius X once said, if there were one million families praying the rosary every day, the entire world would be saved. If you're listening on YouTube, Spotify, or iTunes, please hit the like button and leave a comment to show your support. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, don't hesitate to reach out to me via email at latinprayerpodcast at gmail.com. And lastly, if you would like to support this podcast further, please consider becoming a subscriber on my Patreon page. There are four tiers available to choose from. However, you can select a custom option, and with a minimum monthly donation of only $1 to $2 a month, you can help me continue to create meaningful content for you, And before we end today's episode, we will pray for our wonderful patrons, their families, and their intentions. So thank you again for tuning in. Let's get started. I'm going to read to you first how the act of hope goes in English, and then we will take a look at the Latin word by word, and then see what it says and how it lines up to the English. So in English, the act of hope goes, Oh my God. Relying on thy almighty power and infinite mercy and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Amen. The act of hope in Latin begins Domine Deus, which of course means Lord God. It continues in Latin, Spero per gratiam tuam. Spero means hope. It's a derivative of the word spera, which means hope. So, spero per gratiam. So, I hope by gratiam should make you think of grace. So, I hope by grace tuam. Spero per gratiam tuam. I hope by your grace. Remissionum omnium peccatorum. So, remissionum should make you think of remission. Omnium, of course, means all. And peccatorum means sins or my sins. So we put that together. Spero per gratiam tuum. I hope by thy grace. Remissionum omnium peccatorum. The remission of all of my sins. It continues. Et post hanc vitam eternum. Et of course means and. Post means after or later or subsequent to. There's a ton of English words that use the word post as a prefix, things like post Elizabethan, postscript, uh, postgraduate. You even get the word posterior. If you actually break that up, it's posterior, P O S T E R. So posterior has actually got the word post in front of it. All that to say it just means after. Hunk means this. So when we have et post hunk, what we're saying is and after this. And then we have the words vitam. Eternum. And normally those two words go together and they mean life eternal. But when we look at this phrase, they don't actually go together because eternum is actually attached to the remainder of this phrase. So what we're saying is et post hunk and after this vitam, life. And after this life, et post hunk vitam. And then it continues. Eternum felicitatum me esse consecuturum. So eternum is eternity. Felicitatum should make you think of to facilitate. And just to be absolutely clear, to facilitate is defined as to make an action or process easy or easier so that we are happy. So its original meaning is actually happiness. So together, we're talking about eternal happiness. Eternum felicitatum. So... And after this life, et post hanc vitam, eternum felicitatum, eternal happiness. Me esse consecuturum. Me esse is to be mine. Consecuturum should make you think of consecutively. The actual definition of consecuturum is will result in. So, and after this life, 
eternal happiness will result in being mine. Now it continues on, quia tu promisisti. So quia is because, tu is you promisisti. Promisisti should make you think of promise. So because you have promised, it goes on, qui es infinite potent, who is infinitely powerful, fidelis, faithful, benignus, benign, should make you think of the word benign or kind, et misericors, and merciful. So, because you have promised, who are infinitely powerful, faithful, benign or kind, and merciful. Quia tu promisisti, qui es infinite potens fidelis benignus et misericors. And finally, it finishes with the same line that was in the act of faith, in hac spe vivere et mori statuo. The only difference is we're not talking about faith, we're talking about hope here. So in hoc, so in this spe, remember spero at the beginning, spe is in this hope, vivere et mori statuo. I have decided to live and to die. So you'll notice that it is, just like the act of faith, a little bit different the English tends to be a little bit more poetic. It moves things around, but it also leaves out that last line. The English, oh my God, relying on thy almighty power and infinite mercy and promises, it kind of generalizes the power and mercy of God. I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of thy grace and everlasting life. Whereas in the Latin translation to English, it says, Lord God, I hope that by your grace I will be forgiven all my sins. And it asks for something very specific. And that after this life, I will attain eternal happiness because you have promised it. Because you who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. And then that last line just ties it all together. I decide to live and die in this hope. Now, the general English version, to its merit, does include this line about our Lord Jesus Christ, which is, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. The Latin, however, to its merit, offers this one extra bit here, and it says, because you have promised. This isn't just something we are doing because we feel that we need to beseech God. We are doing it because God has promised this, and we are renewing that promise or invoking that promise of God. And we are saying that, God, you are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, merciful. We're speaking specific things about the nature of God who promises and who never breaks his promise. And this last line, of course, I decide to live and to die in this hope. We are, in essence, remaining faithful and hopeful to the promises that God has made, who we know will never, ever break his promise. So for this reason, I would strongly encourage you to pray the act of hope as it was originally written in its Latin form. Learn it in Latin and teach your children how to pray this beautiful prayer. Teach them what it means in the original Latin so that they can pray it and understand it and make that firm decision at the end of this act of hope. I decide to live and to die in this hope. And as always, I'd like to finish by thanking and praying for all of our Patreon members without whom I would not be able to continue making this content for you. So please join me now in praying for them, their family members, and their intentions. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater noster qui es in celi sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, 
sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Until our next episode, may God love you and Our Lady keep you.